guys, this is the 295 peso cafe latte. City for the new forest forest cafe yeah um, I've been seeing a lot of posts about this and uh, since I love going to that area to just relax uh, if you've seen some of my videos before going to Joe Drive I think it's also within that area so uh, I want to check out this forest cafe and see if it's any better to hang out and I'll report back after okay guys I'll see you guys at the Forest Cafe. I think it's Foresta Cafe. As you can see here, maraming tao sa labas waiting kasi inside punong puno yung restaurant so if you wanted to have a seat and dine in, you need to have your name listed. So ang plano ko was to just grab a coffee and then dun ako sa labas by the bike tapos uwi na. But when I asked kung meron silang available for one, uh, they were able to get me a seat kasi yeah, this area, yun sa right side, may communal table. So they just gave me one chair there. So I decided to just uh, have my early dinner here and uh, order my food. This is the lower deck area. So this is where I was given a seat. Pero dun sa inside. Ito mga outside dining, lahat yan puno. So this is the view right before sunset. That's right before sunset. This was mga quarter to six. So this is the view from the deck outside. Ganda lang view. Uh, but I'm not sure how long this is going to stay like this. Kasi residential area na yan eh, na binibenta yata nila yung lots. So when you enter, uh, there's a line to where you will order from the bar. So it's semi self-service. So you do your orders there. If you're just ordering drinks, people usually wait for their drinks there. But if you have food, they will serve the food on your table. Now, this is the upper deck. So, the view may just similar. But you will see now yung the nice exterior of the cafe. So, you know, got a very glass house-ish and that thing. Yeah, may kita mo. Tapos, this is, uh, yeah, medyo dumilim na. Medyo masa. So, medyo merong... Uh, Romantic na vibe na siya. So this is uh, the same view as the lower deck pero mas maganda lang yung, yung color ng sky when it gets later towards the evening. So ang ganda siyang date place kasi yun nga yung romantic vibe ng uh, sunset. Mm -hmm. 
So the restaurant doesn't have much selection. So they have breakfast, sandwiches, like a cheeseburger, uh, salad, soup. They only have two types of soup, the mushroom and the pumpkin. I ordered the pumpkin. The pizza mukha interesting, but I'll try that next time. I want it a little healthier now. So pasta and a few rice dishes. Tapos, uh, pati nga dessert eh, yung dalawa lang ang meron. Tapos, it's a lot of different drinks lang. So, so medyo talaga limited yung food. So, hopefully they'll still add more. Pero medyo mahal ah. Yeah, my first order was this 325 peso pumpkin soup. Uh, the right amount of sweetness, medyo malakas lang yung ginger taste niya. Well, the soup is actually not bad, but not over 300 pesos good. But what is weird is, I think they should have gone with croutons instead of a breadstick. This is not even a breadstick. This is toasted bread. This feels like, alam you know, hot dog bun na tinoast mo. Biscocho. Parang biscocho na hindi lang matamis. They should have gone with croutons. So I guess their, their point here is para pwede ka mag sao Pero wala yung pagka-social niya kung sinasaw-saw mo to. Ang ganda-ganda pa naman ang place tapos sila saw-saw mo yung tinapay mo. Yep. The bread is not really good bread. It's feels like a hot dog bun talaga. Yep. Sana naman medyo ginandahan nila yung bread. If you're going to charge me 325, sana naman medyo mas social ng konti na bread, a real French bread. Pero ba, I think this is what they want it to be, a French bread or a baguette. But the texture, the lasa, pati yung dito sa ilalim, yung untoasted niya na part yung sa ilalim. Feels more like a, feels more like a hot dog bun. Okay. Waiting for the salad now. I finished my food already. Um, but I'm still having a hard time taking a good sip of coffee. This is something my, my, my kids, my family knows. One of the, my pet peeves when it comes to lattes, cappuccino, and generally any espresso-based drinks is why do they serve it too damn hot? Bakit kailangan pag, pag sinerve sa'yo, mapapaso ka? The good, the good coffee shops that uh, I've been to will serve you a coffee and you can immediately take a sip and enjoy the coffee. No need to wait, no need to fan it out, no need to, to sit very, very slow so that it doesn't burn your mouth. Napaso na ako eh. Yung first sip ko, napaso na yung upper upper palate ng mouth ko eh. and I'm not happy second my second test of a good coffee especially with milk based coffee is how well they actually steam the milk a good coffee shop someone who can steam a milk properly will not require any sugar kasi ang tamis ng milk tumatamis yung milk if it's steamed correctly this one obviously was over steamed Kaya nga napapaso ako. So, without, without any sugar, it's just not good coffee. Diba? So, it's, it's, not, it's not worse than Starbucks, but Starbucks is not really a good coffee. Diba? Starbucks is your go-to fix kasi mabilis nandyan palagi. So, get a cup of coffee. But it's not considered as a good cup of coffee. So this is about the same level lang of a Starbucks coffee. What is surprising, this this is probably 170, 180 pesos this size. I think this is a toll in, in Starbucks. It's 295 here. So your call, do you think the view, the ambience is worth that extra price, almost double? Okay, so let's get to, let's get to the salad. I guess. Medyo labusog naman ako sa salad. Uh, so it's not that small, but I was still expecting more for a price of 475 pesos. 
Yung portioning niya, I guess, ganun na ba portioning ng Fridays? Hindi, pero parang mas marami pa rin yata ng konti si Fridays. But I ordered a cup salad. So what is a cup salad? Cup salad is basically greens, tomatoes, uh, bacon, uh, and sa akin, the most important part of a cup salad, that's why I like the cup salad, because it has chicken breast. So it's a meal for me because it has enough protein and then has the vegetables that I want. Second, the dressing is usually uh, blue cheese base or uh, must Dijon mustard base, like a French, like a French dressing. So yung cup salad is usually they sprinkle some blue cheese on top or crumble some blue cheese on top. Because the cup salad is actually an American salad, kaya nga yung mga hard-boiled egg, may kasama hard-boiled egg pala, hard-boiled egg, bacon, chicken breast, uh, blue cheese, or sometimes they put cheddar cheese, tapos they use a, a mustard base. Kaya it's very American salad. The salad that they serve here to me, they call it as a cup salad. For one, it's missing, it's missing the chicken breast. It's missing the blue cheese. And they actually sprinkled Parmesan cheese, which makes it an Italian salad, not an American salad. Second, yung dressing na sinerve nila tasted like a mayonnaise-based na parang may lemon. So it, it, it tastes like, like a tartar sauce than an actual dressing. So... It's palatable. Uh, I'm not saying you, it's bad. It's just not a cup salad. And I, my expectation of a cup salad is, is a little bit more. Because it is one of my favorite salad. Because you know, it has enough greens. It has enough uh, meat. And I love blue cheese. And the dressing, I love mustard. So yun yung parang perfect salad sa akin. Yun nga lang. I don't know. Because it looks like a cup salad, kasi pinuno nila ng bacon, may hard-boiled egg, tapos may tomato and corn, so I guess that's their interpretation of a cup salad, so at least, no, well, they tried, but uh, so my opinion is, is I guess, uh, the view, the ambiance is definitely much, much better than the food. And for the price, I don't think it's worth the the trip to eat here. If you're going to come here, maybe have a 295 peso latte, uh, watch the view, watch the sunset. Okay, enjoy it. But if you think you want to eat here, I think there might be better options for the price. This this Foresta, yeah, the Foresta Cafe, pala. it's not Forest Cafe, it's Foresta Cafe. It's the same owners, which is the Villiers, as the Joe Drive, where I hang out. The Joe Drive actually have similar coffee. Um, I've tried, tried their salad. I've tried their sandwich. They actually have good food, and it's more affordable. And they're not... Because they're, 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 it's not that the food is bad here. It's just, I don't think it's worth the price. No? So... If this was priced more like what Joe Drive charges for their sandwiches and food, I think this would be a good place to hang out. But if you're trying to charge almost almost like a high-end restaurant, I don't think this is worth the place because the food is not really high-end. The food is your typical coffee shop, Starbucks, uh, Joe Drive coffee shop type of, of food. So if you're going to charge me a high-end na restaurant food. I would expect a really more high-end food, but it's not. So, guys, I think, but I think a lot of people still want to drop by to just see it because it is a majestic place. It's a nice place. The sunset is is beautiful, as you can see with the, the footage that I created. The restaurant is pretty. Um, as in, you have to give them for that. It's really a nice place to hang out. The vibe is nice. Uh, even the staff, the staff are very friendly and very helpful. So that sort of kind of makes up for the price. But uh, that's my take on it. So guys, thank you very much for listening. And uh, 
I'll end my video now. So if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so.